Hi, look what I found on eBay for approximately 5 euros. A Chinese made military connector. So they look like this. We have here seven contacts which are apparently silver plated and pre tinned. So it is good. Here is the model number for this particular set. So we have a socket on the plug that will uh, unmate like so. So you will find them on eBay by searching uh, Chinese military connector. There are two models. There, there is this uh, model with a threaded crown and there is another model which is uh, like this with a twist lock and golden contact so this one seems actually uh, also quite good but it is not the subject of the video today because this one is boring nice quality but uh, no interest in particular but the interest is this connector look closely at this Does, doesn't it look uh, suspiciously familiar to you. Yes, it is a copy of the Soviet military connector. Actually, a very close copy because the parts can be interchanged between both of them. So, mechanically, it is super close, same dimensions. I did not find a matching ping count in my stock of uh, Soviet connectors and even for this uh, particular set I do not have the matching socket but you get the idea. So for example if I undo this part I can mix them and use the Chinese part on the Soviet one. and use the Soviet part on the Chinese one. Very interesting. I will check also about this uh, back shell part. So I did find one problem with the Chinese connector. There is actually some play here in the connector, in the cover piece. It will move a little bit, so maybe it can be corrected by uh, applying some uh, captain tape inside or filing down a little bit, something like this. But this problem does not exist on the Soviet one. So it is uh, one uh, flow I found, but apart from this, it seems quite nice. The contacts are super nice. You can use the Soviet connector cover on them. One other thing on the Soviet design, you have uh, a cutout here which will allow you to extract the o ring and take apart the plug. But here we are missing the cutout, so if you want to take it apart, it will be a little bit difficult. I guess we need to drill and file somewhere and in order to be able to access the o ring. Also, uh, the Pins, material, not sure. The insulation material is not the same. We have a blue one here. The pins here are quite thin, but there are several models available. But for 5 euros, the set of male and female connectors, really, it is not too bad. I will check something about this back shell. So I was not aware it did uh, exist and quite uh, surprised to see uh, Chinese making uh, commercial use of uh, Soviet design now in uh, 2020. So here is uh, what it looks in the Soviet connector model and in the Chinese one of course uh, regular Chinese Philips screws. It 
it will come apart like so. So you can see it is uh, pretty close also, but same thing here, we are missing the cutout for the access to the circlip. But I guess it will be possible to use the Soviet back shell on here. Yes, and actually, if I use the Soviet back shell, there is no play. Interesting. And if I do the other way around, uh, like so, here we have a little bit of play. Not too much. Okay, so there is an adjustment problem here somewhere. Quite weird. Yes, so it is a little bit of a design flaw here. They did. Uh, ah, maybe it is because of this uh, part here, which is not uh, thick enough here. You can see there is not a lot to say, but really, they did even copy uh, this uh, internal design here. It is for putting a rod here that will allow to uh, secure firmly the cable. So it is uh, and even the little lips here were uh, copied. So really, probably they did use the original uh, Soviet part or make a mold or something like this. Quite interesting. I was not uh, expecting to find uh, them. And really, uh, a nice uh, price. So if you are searching for uh, military connectors, you can still purchase the Soviet ones from eBay. There are a lot of them available. But uh, also, there is Chinese option. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.